Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about user input within NCurses and kind of how to work with it. Um, but uh, first off, I've just created a, a window uh, that's going to contain our input. Um, it's not required, but it's going to be helpful for this tutorial because we're going to be talking about inputting specifically into a window instead of to just the main screen, um, which I'll explain in a second. But um, this is what this looks like. Uh, it's just kind of a centered box. Um, but yeah, so uh, what we're going to do now is actually talk about how to do this. Uh, so um, we're going to use a function called wgetchar, which is like getchar's little brother, I'd say. Um, it takes two, uh, or it takes one parameter, which is just the, the window that you're going to be inputting from. Um, and uh, we're going to want to capture this input as well. So we'll put it into an int uh, c and... We'll check to see if this C that they entered is equal to J. And make sure you do single quotes for this uh, equality expression, because otherwise C++ will get mad at you. Um, and uh, within, so if the user presses J, uh, which is what this says here, so it gets a character. If the user presses J, then what we want to do is move print W, and we'll put it to our input win. And we'll put it at 1, 1, so it clears the box border. And then we will print out, uh, you pressed J. Um, and then after this, we'll write a uh, give metal function that gives them a metal for pressing J. Um, stay tuned for that. <laughs> so a W refresh. Um, and then we'll want a W refresh input win, so that way our uh, text actually shows up instead of... Um, it just being in memory. So we'll make this and we'll run it. And we'll get a box and if we press J, you press J. Perfect. Awesome. Um, but say we want to work with the arrow keys or the function keys. You can't really do that easily without, um, or right now within um, end curses. And the way we would go about doing that is by using a function called keypad, which takes two parameters. The first one being the window that you're using uh, as input and then true or false, but in this case we're going to be putting true because we're trying to turn it on, not off. Um, but what this does is it makes it so we can use keywords such as key up or um, key left, right, up, down um, to specify arrow keys. And then we can also use um, key F and then in parentheses you put the um, the number of the function key that you want to use, so it would be, you know, key F1, key F2, F3, F4, so on forth, so on forth. So um, that's how you use um, that. But in this case, we'll just set, test for key up, um, just to, to show that it works. Um, oops, I misspelled pressed. So now we'll just have it say, oh, you pressed key up um, instead of key J. So we'll make that, and we'll run it, and we press the up key. You pressed up. So, perfect, sweet, awesome. That's how that works. Um, I think that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any other questions or comments or whatever, let me know. Uh, hopefully see you in the next one.